have here is a Hornby double o gauge railway model of a Coca-Cola tank wagon. I should mention that it strictly says for adult collectors, you know, just in case you had doubts about whether model railways were for children. Well, they kind of are. Many things can be used from the age of three upwards. So this is an R60154 Coca-Cola six wheel tanker. It's a six wheel tanker, which means that it has three axles. It doesn't have bogies. You can see the Coca-Cola branding very prominently. So yes, this is a licensed product, bought from Hattons, bought brand new in January, 2024. So let's see, yes, okay. Manufactured by Hornby, made in China as most Hornby products, if not all are now. You have official Coca-Cola license product, Coca-Cola logo, Coke logo. So yeah, and obviously the color of it. So you can guess that what would be carried in this in real life is not going to be just plain water. Or it might, who knows, maybe Coca-Cola use it to carry water or a secret formula or whatever. Let's open this thing out. Very well packaged. Nothing else inside the box, so let's put that aside. This is just a white card which helps better show off the model while it's in the box. Put that aside too. And Hornby's packaging of this particular wagon is in this plastic fashion where you open a tab at the top there and then the whole thing opens out like that. The wagon is covered in a piece of polythene once again to protect it I suppose. Let's put all that stuff aside and let's look at this thing in a bit more detail. First off, it has the newer style of Hornby coupler. I think they're called the NEM couplers, if I'm not mistaken. Much of my rolling stock does not have that, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays with my locos. Then we have the three axles here, six wheels, Hornby, made in China. I must say the detail level is impressive. You've got separately fitted ladder, you've got a separately fitted hatch up there. And you've got all these things, including these wires or pipes, I don't know what they would be, are all separately fitted. You can also see that the wheels seem to be quite free rolling. Let me just pan the camera up a little bit to show you a bit of the tracks. And let's just put it on the track there. Very nice and free rolling. So what remains now is, let's couple it up to a locomotive. I've got this Virgin livery in class 47 waiting for this particular purpose since it's in red and black. Let's bring it forward. Stop it right there. Let's put the wagon on the track over there. And let's reverse the loco into it gently and see if it will automatically couple. Okay, something has happened. Let's see what has happened. Before that, I did hear a bit of an untoward sound. Have we got a derailment? No, we have not. Probably just a piece of stray ballast being kicked up. So away goes this combo. So you can see it's a very smooth and very free rolling kind of wagon. The only sound we are hearing is from the locomotive itself. Nothing from the wagon. Let's go a little closer and follow it around my layout. Let's turn up the speed a bit because I want to see how this thing with its six axle, I mean sorry, three axle, six wheel configuration will handle speeds. This class 47 can go quite fast. Right now it's, uh, yeah, it's about 45% on the controller. Let's go a bit crazy. Bit of an abrupt stop but there we are a very nice model i have to say very pleased with the level of detail and with how it couples to the rolling stock as well as how it rides so there you are the hornby 
Coca-Cola tank reviewed and unboxed of course. If you've liked this video, have a look at my model train playlist. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and you know the usual. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.